terminating optical fibers by attaching connectors with an adhesive, and polishing the ferrule, is one of the best method to terminate a connector. The polishing procedure removes excess glue, scratches in the fiber glass, and shapes the ferrule. First of all, prepare the workspace. It's better to work on a black surface, because it helps you see the fiber. Open the connector package, there should be a connector body, a cable cover, a bushing, a crimp sleeve, if it's an SC connector, a connector cover. Slip the cable support, the bushing, and the crimp sleeve, onto the fiber cable. If you are terminating a 3mm cable, mark the cable 34mm from the end. Remove 34mm of the jacket. Cut the Kevlar, letting around 5 mm from the edge. Mark the fiber, 19 mm from the end. Remove 19 mm of the buffer and of the fiber coating. Wipe the stripped fiber with a cloth and isopropyl alcohol to remove any residual coating. Only use isopropyl alcohol. Rubbing alcohol is 70% alcohol, and the rest water. Water can affect the strength of adhesives and the length of time it takes to adhesives to cure. Don't touch the cleaned fiber. Place the cable in a clean location. Now, you have to insert the adhesive into the connector. The adhesive will lock the fiber inside the connector. There are a lot of type of adhesives, epoxy, anaerobic, hot glue, but only use specific adhesive for optical fiber. Inject the glue. Insert the needle into the back of the connector, against the end of the ferrule, and squeeze gently. If adhesive runs out the back of the connector, you used too much adhesive. If possible, leave a small bead of adhesive on the end of the fiber. It will support the fiber during the cleaving and polishing process. Insert the fiber into the connector. While you insert the fiber, slowly rotate the connector back and forth to spread the adhesive evenly. The fiber will be moved into the center of the hole in the ferrule, improving fiber alignment and helping the polishing process. The fiber and the hole in the ferrule are the size of an human hair. It could be not easy, and it's easy to break the fiber. Be sure to insert the fiber into the connector before the adhesive set. Some adhesive will set in less than a minute, often faster than you could get the fiber inserted fully into the connector. Slip the cable sleeve and the crimp sleeve over the outer jacket and the connector body. Capture the Kevlar yarn between the connector body and the cable sleeve. Using the crimping tool, crimp the sleeve. Push the cable cover over the connector. Now, we have to cleave the excess fiber that's sticking out of the ferrule. With a fiber cutter, gently scratch the fiber just above the ferrule end. Don't break the fiber, just scratch it. Be careful, if you break the fiber inside the connector ferrule, the connector has to be thrown away. Now, remove the fiber. Pull up the fiber, then away, slightly to the side. Make sure the cut fiber is in the dust bin, or use an adhesive tape. 
now, the connector is ready to polish. Most connectors, are polished in a series of three steps, starting with a rough grit of polishing film, and moving to a finer grit. First, a polish with a coarse polishing film, around 12-15 micron grit, to grind the cleave fiber down near the ferrule end face. Second, polish with a fine polishing film, usually 3 micron grit. Third, a final polish with finer film, around 1 micron, or less. Multimode fiber is easier to polish, than single mode fiber. Multimode fiber, has a large core size, and the connectors don't have the rigorous return loss requirements of single mode connectors. Clean the back of the polishing paper, with isopropyl alcohol. Foreign material, can cause scratches on the ferrule. Clean the polishing puck too. The polishing puck hold the connector in the right position while you polish. The dirty on the back of the puck prevents the ferrule from protruding through the holder at the proper distance. A wrong distance means incorrect polishing. Take the 15 micron polishing film. Holding the connector in one hand, gently move the polishing film in circles over the tip of the ferrule. 20 seconds is enough. This first step smooths the sharp edges on the fiber glass and reduce the risk of breaking the fiber during the polishing procedure. You can check the polishing process by gently touching the end of the ferrule with a finger. If you can barely feel the fiber, it's okay. Be careful. Excessive polishing could cause the end face of the fiber to fall below the tip of the ferrule or could break the fiber. Wipe the end of the connector with a cloth and isopropyl alcohol. Clean a connector before and after each step. Place the 3 micron lapping film, glossy side down, on a flat surface, usually a rubber pad or a glass pad. To help the polishing of the fiber, you may place two drops of distilled water on the pad, then, using the polishing tool, spread the water. Place the connector into the polishing puck. Place the polishing puck on the polishing film. Grip the connector with your thumb and forefinger, while gently resting them on the puck. Move the puck in a figure 8 pattern approximately 5 cm in height. Start with extremely light pressure, to avoid damaging the fiber. The speed of the figure 8, should be between 1 and 2 per second. After completing 5 figure 8, increase pressure. When the puck begins to slide more easily, and the connector stops to scratching the paper, you know it's flush. Remove the connector, and clean it with isopropyl alcohol. Repeat the operation, with the 1 micron polishing film. Complete 6 to 8 figure 8. Then remove the connector from the polishing puck, and clean it with isopropyl alcohol. You are now ready to inspect the termination. What is a, good connector? A good connector, is one that tests as a low loss connector, and with a good reflectance. But a good connector, is simply one that looks good. Scratch free, smooth end face, fiber in the center of the ferrule. If a connector looks good, it's almost sure it will have low loss, and good reflectance. To check it, you need a good microscope. Some defects, can be corrected by an additional polishing. If the fiber remains unacceptable, it must be re-terminated, using another connector. It isn't easy, to achieve a good polished procedure, but after 20-30 repetitions, you'll be 90% of the way. At the end of the inspection, cover the connector with the dust cap.